I just killed the storage. I got 64 gigs, so now we're going to the hard drive. Alright, this one and this one, we're going to cook it just a little bit more because it's still got a little of that pinky going on. Alright, we finished up cooking that. All right, basically what we want to do now is get this garbage out of here. Probably just going to dump it down the sink. Although, hold on, wait for it. Whoa, that's hot. I'm just going to get rid of the juice. All right, I kept the residue, and now we're going to mushroom it up. There we go. Well, there's our mushrooms. We love... The dollar store mushrooms. They're in a jar, not a can. You can't touch these babies with a 10-foot pole. You know something? Let me see something. If I got some butter. Yes, we got some butter. We're going to do these with some butter. Those were half sticks. Anything else we want to put in? Actually, not. All right, be back in a sec fraction of a sec all right we're almost done there's my barbecue new zealand it's barbecue sauce come on why would you marinate steaks and barbecue or my barbecue sauce you already know you're on my channel and you've already learned how to do this and then we got some veggies and built in the bridge. All right. We know a little shiitake mushroom powder. We don't want to talk about that. That's to absorb the, absorb the moisture as a smoke cloud. That's Parmesan Romano. And we're going to bring it to the next level with my favorite oh, wasabi there you go you're coming to my channel because you know i cook things that no one in history of the planet has ever eaten before this is kosher this is halal It is definitely, oh wow, that smells excellent. Those were dollar store jarred mushrooms. I used the scrapings, the leftovers in the pan. I should say the wok. Look at that. I have no moisture left over. Or I should, the correct word is minimal. Nick. Actually, hold on. Nope, don't have it. If I had something else, I was going to put something else, but I don't. But that's my dinner.